Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Bob? Well, Jerry... Gee, I thought the show would never end tonight. Down, <laughs> Rags. Of course I'm proud of you. Down. <laughs> yes, yes, you put on a swell show tonight. You're a smart dog. Well, is something bothering you, Jerry? No, I, I guess I just wanted to talk to you, that's all. Well, let's head toward the wagon, huh? I'll take my makeup off and we'll whoop, whoop, look out for those zebras. I'm watching. Oh, they're treacherous little animals. You never know when they're going to take a notion to kick out it somewhere. Well, oh, come on, Jerry. Okay. Come on, Rag. <laughs> you know, I love watching the last parade at the end of the show. Oh, you mean uh, the last walk around? Yeah. The acts are all over, but, but when you all go around the ring again and the applause starts all over again, the crowd starts to leave and we start breaking up the show, taking down the tents and... Oh, I love it. <laughs> well, we got to have those things in our blood, Jerry. Most people, I guess, would rather go home, get into a nice warm bed and go to sleep. They just don't know what they miss. Bunks, hmm? I've been watching them load the animals and cart them off to the station. I just love to see all the dark shapes going through the lot at night with music still going on in the main tent. <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, here we are. Hey, close the door, Jerry. All right, now, Jerry, what's on your mind? Nothing. Oh, now you can't fool me. You're hanging around me for some reason. Well, I, I guess I'm just kind of sad. Hmm? Sad? Yeah, you know, after finding out about Decker. Oh, yes, I know, Jerry. I liked him, and now maybe he's a crook. I was afraid that was what's on your mind. Now, now, listen, in the first place, we haven't any proof. Uh, well, that is certain proof that he stole that money. Though I admit it looks kind of bad. If he only hadn't run away or tried to put the blame on Jason, that's the worst of it. I know. And Lorenz, too. I've always thought there was something peculiar about that combination. What do you mean? Well, Lorenz is such a different type than Decker. It just seemed unnatural for two men like that to be friends. You know, Bumps, the more I think about it, the funnier it seems. I sometimes had the feeling Decker was afraid of Lorenz. Yeah, he was under Lorenz's thumb, all right. Oh, but now you mustn't keep worrying about it, Jerry. Well, looks as if we're going to have company. Hello, who's there? Bumps, Jerry? Yeah, come on in, Jason. Well, hello there. I saw the light and thought one of you might be in. Well, how come you're around so late, Jason? Yeah, you don't have to do the last walk around. By the way, why aren't you ever in the last parade? Oh, he's one of the stars in this show, Jerry. Well, aren't you two? Well, you bet Bumps is a star. But you see, Jerry, he runs all through the show, and I just have my one act, and then I'm through. <laughs> oh, Jason's just being modest. <laughs> you can't imagine me walking along in the grand parade with my lions on a leash, can you? Golly, the audience would be in a panic, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, Bumps can always think of some new things to do on the spur of the moment to please the people and make them laugh. I only know my one routine of tricks, or those I'm working on for the next season. <laughs> to hear Jason talk, you'd think he didn't have much to do, wouldn't you, Jerry? Yeah, but he's not telling about all the hours and days and weeks of training he's taken to handle those animals. Well, you're right there, Jerry. Lots of my work never shows. For instance, I'm heading for a job right now. Want to come along? Sure, what is it? Well, I've been waiting for them to get the lions loaded on the flat car so I could get over there and fix Daisy up again tonight. You bet I'd like to help fix her. Would you let me put the medicine on her this time? Well, I don't know about that. I saw you do it this afternoon. Oh, I know, Jerry, but 
You have to learn to handle well animals before you can do much with sick ones. Lions are pretty irresponsible when they're hurt. Well, a wild animal's first instinct is to strike out, Jerry. They don't stop to think that you've been good to them. That's because they're afraid, isn't it? Mm-hmm, that's it. Now, when you fix a child that's hurt, well, the child knows you're trying to help it. So does Rags. No matter what's happened, he lets me fix him up. He doesn't even whimper if he can help it. Someday we may get our wild animals to understand us that well, Jerry. But so far, we're just beginning to gain their confidence. It's uphill work. Well, if you two are going to fix that line, you better get started. Remember, we pull out of this town at two. Oh, we'll have lots of time. <laughs> you think after the day you've had, Jerry, you'd want to go to bed. Well, i, I got to learn all I can about the circus while I'm still young, don't I? I'll never get anywhere if I don't. <laughs> Come on, Jerry. Don't let Bumps kid you. You don't have to explain. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Rags. Uh, Goodbye, Bumps. Goodbye, Sam. Get on the train. Don't worry, Bumps. All right, Jerry. Uh, have you heard any more about Lorenz and Decker, Jason? Well, I've just been talking to Randall. He's gotten in touch with the local police, and they've sent out telegrams to every town that the train passes through. You think they got away on the train, then? Well, this is the only train out of this town they could have gotten. If they're hanging around here anywhere, they'll certainly be picked up by the police in a hurry. And what about Mr. Bennett? Did Mr. Randall say whether he's going to get well enough to come with us tonight or not? Don't you worry about Jim Bennett. He's as tough as they make him. He'd come along with us tonight if they had to bring him on the train with a stretcher. He's brave, all right. You know, he walked all the way to the doctor's with me right after the holdup. When he got there, the doctor thought he might have con concussion or, or something. No, it probably wasn't quite that bad. Here, Jerry, this way. We can cut across the tracks here. Hey, what's going on? It, it's right over there by the plant. See where the elephants are helping to load those wagons. Come on, let's hurry. Careful, don't get too close, Jerry. Looks like one of the elephants is on a rampage. <laughs> Jason, that elephant's picked up a man. Good night. Bertie, Bertie, stop that. Thank Don't heaven Olsen's there. Get back there, Bertie. Get back. Is he hurt? No, just scared. Bertie, quiet now. Now, some of you men come here and watch this elephant. I want to find out just what this is all about. Who is this man? Oh, it's Yuzi. He tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. I'll sue you for this. Come I'm on, so get up. Let's oh. see if you're hurt. Come on. Come on. Now listen here, Zeke. I've told you before to stay away from that elephant. You and your crazy idea of playing jokes. But I'll be darned if I let you get my elephants into trouble. Well, why is he mad at that man? It was the elephant that caused all the trouble. I'll tell you all about it later, Jerry. Look at the law on you, letting murderous elephants around honest folks. It ain't right. Now look here, Zeke. If you want to stay with this outfit, you keep your nose clean. One word out of you, and I'll have you fired so fast you won't know what happened. Yeah, and it served him right, too. Yes. Yes. Right. Well, okay, men. Now go on, get back to work. We pull out of here in an hour. Well, hello, Olson. Looks like you've been having a little trouble. <sighs> trouble, my eye. If the men were as easy to handle as the animals, there'd be no trouble. What happened, Mr. Olson? Well, you get Jason to tell you. I've got to go take Gertie out of here for the night. Well, aren't you going to let her work anymore? Uh, not tonight, I'm not. She's too excited. And I don't take any risks with my men or my elephants. I suppose this Zeke is the same driver you've complained of before. Yeah, he is. And you bet I don't complain about him no more. He behaves himself or he leaves this circus. Well, what's Zeke do this time? I don't know. I don't care. But one thing I won't have is him making a killer out of Gertie. She's one of the best workers I've got, and as gentle as a lamb. Well, I got to get her bedded down for the night. Come on, Gertie. Come on, Gertie. Listen to that open talking to Mr. Olson. <laughs> She's certainly scolding away about something. I guess I'm kind of dumb, but I can't figure this all out. Well, it was Zeke's fault. How do you know? Well, you heard the other men talking about him. Yeah, they all seem to be on the elephant's side. Well, they are. You see, Zeke has been teasing Gertie ever since he joined the circus. That's dangerous, isn't it? Well, I'll say it is. Come on down this way. Daisy's car is right below here. What kind of things does Zeke do? He used to get just beyond Gertie's reach when she was chained and take a long stick and tease her. Gee, that's mean. Yeah, and one day she got so excited she broke loose. Did she go after Zeke? Olsen just happened to come by then, so she didn't have much chance to do anything. I don't think I'd like to be in Zeke's shoes. I'm sure I wouldn't. Well, here's the car. Can you climb up here, Jerry? Sure thing. Sure, Rags. Up you go. <laughs> good boy. Good, good for you. And Rags, too. That dog certainly can jump. Jerry, want to help me push this panel back? Sure. There we go. Yeah. That's right, Daisy. Yeah, I just want to fix you up a little. Can I help? You hold this stick while I get this cotton wound around it. Uh, there now. Plenty of medicine you on it. You certainly put a lot of that stuff on. I want to be sure to get enough on the first time. Here we go. That's right, Daisy. There, I guess that fixes you for the night. Well, come on, Jerry. Help me here with this panel. There. Thanks, Jerry. Well, I guess we've done our good deed for the night. What do you think we'd better do next? Well, 
we've got a lot of time before the train pulls out. Hmm. Maybe we'd better get to bed. Well, uh, of course, if you say so, but... Unless uh, you think you might like a little pie and some ice cream. Oh, boy. Do you mean it? I take it you would like some, then. You bet I would. Gee, thanks. Okay, Jerry. Let's head for the station. There's a restaurant there, and they'll be open. I- I'm hungry, boy. Well, why didn't you say so? Well, I... It's sure nice to be asked, though. <laughs> I like your company, Jerry. You know, Jason, I, I can't get over that elephant. You mean Gertie? Yeah. It's funny how they remember things. Don't they ever go after the wrong man? Never. They don't make that mistake. You see, Jerry, one reason Olsen gets so upset is that if Gertie should ever get mad enough to kill a man, she'd probably have to be shot. No. Well, that's the rule. So you see, Olsen wants to keep her from getting so worked up that she might do something like that. Golly, I'll say. Oh, is this the restaurant you mean? Yeah. Come on, Rags. Yeah, let's sit here at the counter. Hi, boy. Hi, Jason. Hi, Hello. Jim. Hi, Joe. Now, now, let's see. Uh, waiter. Yes, sir? Have you got any pie? You bet we have. Almost any kind you want. Well, how about apple, Jerry? Yeah, that's swell. And can I have some ice cream, too? <laughs> you bet you can. Two apple pies a la mode and a cup of coffee. Coming right up. Well, what do you got there, Jerry? That picture of my Uncle Dan, the one Patsy's dad sent her. Mm, he's certainly a fine-looking man, isn't he? Yeah, and that's not all. He's a wonderful man, too. He's real brave. Traps wild animals and shoots better than an Indian. <laughs> I've heard of him, Jerry. Well, the morning paper already. Here, boy, I'll have one of those papers. Yes, sir. Here, Here. you are. Well, thank you. Anybody else? Well, Jerry, here's our pie and ice cream. Sure looks good, huh? Mm, you bet. Uh, be careful of your uncle's picture, Jerry. You don't want to get it all sticky. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll put it in my inside pocket here. That's where I usually keep it so it won't get mussed. Mm, boy, this is sure good ice cream, boy. I think mm. I'll have a look at this paper and see what's happened in the outside world today. If, if there's anything exciting, tell me about it. I, I'm too busy doing anything but eat right now. Well, Jerry. What? Well, look here. Oh, that's awful. What is it? Well, listen to this. Suffering from numerous contusions and abrasions and possible internal injuries, an unidentified man was discovered lying in an unconscious condition in the right-of-way of the L, R, and S railroad tracks late tonight by a crew of track workers. Authorities are said to believe he was either pushed or had fallen from the westbound 540 train. No identification was found on his person or in his pockets except... What? What's the matter, Jason? Except that he wore a full beard, which... Jason, you, you don't think... You don't think it's Decker? I don't know what to think. But that's the train he and Lorenz took. Where have they got him now? Well, let's see. Rushed to the emergency hospital at... Oh, golly, that's the town we play tomorrow. And we'll be there for three days. Hmm. Well, we'll certainly have to check on this. I'll bet Randall and the police will be interested in this bit of news. <laughs> 